What's going on guys? Out with Jared again. We're backpacking here on the Boulder Mail Trail, headed down to Sand Creek, and then we're gonna book it down Sand Creek to the Escalante River and hitchhike back to the car. About a 14 mile trip for this one, and hopefully today we're gonna get to camp soon enough that we can kind of keep following the Boulder Mail Trail and we're gonna end up at Death Hollow, kind of check that out a little bit, but holy cow, what a Beautiful, beautiful place. This is incredible. This is gonna be a happy sight. Running water. We are down here in Sand Creek now, about two and a half miles. <laughs> and there's running water. Oh, that's fantastic. Heck yeah, dude. Oh yeah. I am loving this already. Running water in the desert like this in March? That's fantastic. Knock yourself wearing pants tomorrow. Remember when oh. we, first, we first walked in? Wow, look at the red of this branch. <laughs> Holy crap! Jared's like just bushwhack in here a little bit. So rad. All right, so we've reached Sand Creek and we've gone just shy of three miles. So at this point, we're gonna keep walking down Sand Creek uh, just a tad because we've decided we're gonna stop hiking for today. We'll be able to cover enough miles tomorrow. We didn't start hiking today until like two o'clock. And right now, it's 3.30, so in an hour and a half, we did about three miles. Behind me there was the junction, if you will, for the Boulder Mail Trail. So if we decide after we find a place to camp to go and try to make the climb over into Death Hollow, we're gonna do that, but we'll see. It all depends on where, where we find a place to camp because it's not a super wide canyon so far, and that makes things a little bit difficult with uh, the very little traffic that this route sees. We'll see what happens. Oh, that hit my nipple. That was a... <laughs> okay, so this right here, this is why you do these kinds of things because we didn't read about this. And there is a full-on panel of petroglyphs. Holy cow, look at that. Dude! Dude! Wow! Oh man, I love this kind of stuff. This is so neat. Hey 
Hey, why don't you fall again? Now that I've got the camera recording. <laughs> Bye, petroglyph panel. You're amazing. What? Hey, I am foliage. Whoa! Yeah, that looks slippery. Well, we found home, right? For the time being, yeah, yeah. this is home. We're gonna set up the tent right here. The issue is that we haven't been able to find anywhere that isn't covered in uh, crypto, biotic soil, which is not something that you want to uh, damage. So we're, we scouted out this spot here on the Slick Rock, and we're up high because if you look behind me, there's storms of brewing and we have concerns that water could come down into these canyons and cause a flash flood type setting. There are like amazing spots down in the washes, but that's just a good idea. Yeah, really cool. So we're gonna get camp set up. Finally got camp set up. Jared's back there putting together some aqua mirror for the water that we just went and got. But it's cool being up on this like little shelf up above everything. The, the view around here is just so, so pretty. I'll show you here in a second, but we're gonna make some dinner right now. Going to make some lemon garlic uh, chicken pasta. And so you'll get to see all of that, but holy cow, this is a tough canyon. A lot, a lot of bushwhacking. <laughs> Like a crazy, crazy amount of bushwhacking uh, once we got into Sand Creek. So we're probably going to try to get out of here tomorrow and then go spend the night at one of the other trailheads in the area and go see something else. But we'll see, see how fast we can get down uh, through the canyon tomorrow. We've got about nine miles of canyon. Jared was wearing shorts today. Got his legs ripped up with all the thorns in the bushwhacking. <laughs> Business Canyon definitely drew first blood. Yep. Time for drops, eh? Start that again. <laughs> Time to make some lemon garlic uh, chicken pasta. Just gonna drop a little bit of olive oil into the fry bake. So what I've got is chicken, pasta, cheese, fresh garlic, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and then a fresh lemon, a small onion, and a yellow squash. So let's have at it. How good is that bug out? Dude, the bug out is the outdoor knife. It's so good. And I'm crying because of the onion. I thought it was out of excitement. <laughs> no, it hurts of birds. Oh, birds. Oh. Try not to put the flashlight in your eyes. Yeah. Ding you, onion. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are burning. You taste so good, but ow. really good. This is redemption time from our Canyonlands trip. Going for chocolate pudding. Mini whisk to the rescue. Well, good morning guys. Had probably one of the longest nights 
in the back of a tree I've ever experienced. <laughs> Jared and I were talking about this like, uh, it was just like waking up every hour. But the thing about it is the tent was really warm. We both slept really warm for some reason. And I'll say this about my sin mat, my X-Ped sin mat that's over there. I don't like the uh, vertical baffles on it because when I roll onto my side, because I like to sleep on my side, my shoulder falls asleep and I hate that. So not super excited about the pad uh, in that way. But we have decided to make a change of plans for today. Jared had the bright idea to kind of ditch the original plan and instead of bushwhacking for the next eight, nine miles down Sand Creek, we're gonna explore around and then kind of uh, cross country back to the car from where we're at right now, which probably is gonna be only like four, maybe five miles, depending on what route we take. Probably about five. It's about five miles. And then we're gonna get back to the car and depending on what time it is at that point, we're gonna go do some other stuff today. And uh, we're gonna find a place to just car camp tonight. And then uh, we're gonna do another slot canyon tomorrow. So should be really cool, yeah. That's the fun thing about doing trips like this is you get to explore a little bit and the whole purpose of us coming to Sand Creek uh, has been determined and uh, for totally different reasons. And so we've decided to go ahead and make a, a decision to change the route a little bit and kind of go for it. So getting camp cleaned up here and we'll get on the trail. Okay, here we go. We've just packed up camp. Now we are literally just going to kind of book it, kind of slowly, we'll see. But we've got probably about three or so, three and a quarter miles to get back to the car. We'll see once we actually get back to the car where the total distance is. But we're going to essentially walk down this wash and we're gonna get up on top of the mesa here. We're just gonna head back to the car and at that point, figure out a plan of what to do for the rest of the weekend. Things don't always go as planned. That's kind of the, the fun thing about doing a trip like this is things change, but when you have the option to be able to adjust and, and go with it, it makes it fun. So we're gonna get hiking. Dude, look how awesome this view is. What a beautiful place. Well, make our way up. We're going up there. Trailblazing. That's a really neat canyon. The beast is what it is. <laughs> Love that kind of stuff, man. Oh, this is cool. Well, we just came up that. It's steep. <laughs> and now, I gotta go up this behind me. It'll be all right. This has been a good, good adventure, Holy a good trip. God. Yeah, buddy, that's killer. That made for a short backpacking trip. <laughs> Don't laugh, he's laughing. But I think it was worth it for the experience. And uh, we even got to like work on some navigation skills, which I think is really important in this kind of thing. But we're back to the car. We did about eight miles total for this trip is all. So now it's a matter of looking at the map, those kind of things, and just deciding what to do for the rest of the weekend. We have tons of options down here. We are in my car that doesn't have four wheel drive, which is 
a bummer, obviously, because we could do a lot of cool things. But we're gonna go have fun uh, regardless. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. That is the Boulder Mail Trail, Sand Creek, abbreviated. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next one.